welcome back to another episode of World War Selection. In today's battle, we're returning back to battles, 1v1 battles for today. And we've got Etsky. Return of Etsky against, in the, spawning in the red, in the bottom left. And he's going to be up against the return of Little Pig. Spawning in the top right, in the yellow. Yes, we're back to the yellow. Green, I was not liking. We're back to the yellow. And I've noticed something. I've noticed something. Whatever you set your game as last, that's what it saves it as. I thought it was just an automatic thing that I put the colors on, but no. It's whatever you left it at, that's what it will show you the next game. It's kind of like saves it. So that's little feature is even, even cooler. Because then you, you have a bit of choice there because you can you could you could do your own thing. So that's cool. Right, let's have a reveal of the map. It's a big map. Big map. So let's see what's going on down here. Have an Etsky. Did get a farm there. I guess he couldn't build one here, unfortunately. I mean I would have built one here. I would have built one here. So we've got the tree as well definitely worth doing sometimes people build a warehouse as far away from the altar as they, as they can so that that way when the berries are finished there then they're at least closer to the altar with the berries over here however there are certain situations where it is better to get the warehouse here so that you're closer to the tree line here to finish this pathetic tree line of a tree line that we're getting nowadays in games where there isn't much tree I don't know if anyone on those notices, but the trees. There's a bit of a forest situation going on. I think too many people are eating avocados again, but or building windmills and cutting the forest down. And we're spawning in maps where there isn't much trees. I think the developers are just adapting to what's going on in the world, which kind of sucks because we need more trees. But this map is is blessed with enough trees they're all right they're all right they can't moan they've got iron everywhere as well got a little bit of a lake here big lake over here so they're gonna be all right for that so we got little pig going for a temple quick temple we've got six seven eight huts eight huts into a temple not too bad we didn't get any upgrades but we did find some fish which is nice no upgrades there all right We've got one the tree upgrade here. Not sure how you afforded that with not many on the berries here. So we've got 35 of 36 there, and 32 of 36. So yeah, he sacrificed a bit of food there to try and get that upgrade possibly. And also he's sacrificing not getting resources, but sending his workers all the way across the map here for some aggressive play. Oh, he found some fish over here. Again, that was a little bit of wasted time. If only he saw the fish back here. There's three fish. Not too bad. Three fish is good. Uh, your fish is gone now, but you are nearly at Bronze Age here. Gonna need to get those. Gonna need some. Yes, gonna need some of them. All right, so we've got some bulwarks down. Gonna have to fight this boar. Save him that nice micro, nice micro. Didn't lose any workers there, which is very, very important. Oh, just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. Managed to get those four pits up. Meanwhile, Etsuki is doing a little proxy here. It's going to be uh, it's a little bit late, though. What time we got? We got five minutes 40. Five minutes 40. You should have, back in the day, you would have had 30 warriors in your opponent's base by then. It's a little bit late, so I'm not too sure how much he's going to get done. And he should have migrated these workers a long time ago. He's going to be out of wood for a bit. But little pig's using everything he has. And we don't, still don't see a temple here for Yetsky. But he's got five pits. And looks like he's going for the maceman. A nice push with the maceman. Might get something done here. Farms up for little pig. 
he used up every single wood he can because he went temple first you use up all your wood very quickly especially when you're trying to build these pits as well so it's a tight build but it's a very solid solid build right. got some upgrades at home which is nice but still nothing here nothing here didn't damage but it chilling a bit I mean it looks like I mean I feel like uh, little pig got a little bit of a breather there before the storm came in this the timing on this was not great it could have kind of attacked a little bit better here better timing attack he's got a lot of workers there in Stone Age so he didn't have much pop to build basement Pick right, going for the workers definitely do not want to fight Maceman with warriors let's right, so try and snipe the pits as long as there's no more pits there'll be no more Maceman being produced good save on the workers there by Etsuki trying to chase the warriors ah the warriors getting stuck here yeah he doesn't want to attack that he doesn't want to attack that looks like he might be going round again just gotta keep avoiding them Keep attacking and making them run back. Keep attacking, making them run back. I'm not too sure why he didn't bother with the slingers here. Slingers are pretty good against the macemen, or even getting macemen yourself. But I'm not too sure if he knew that macemen were coming out until he basically saw them. Dear, dear. 5.6 damage and that splash damage that did. Oh, I mean, the bulwarks are actually the only thing that's actually doing damage against the Mace So, as long as Etsuki can keep this up, he is good to go. I mean, where is he getting food? Has he got that food at the back here yet? No, not yet. So, I, I don't know where he's getting any more food. He's maxed out. His food's not going up, so he doesn't have any more food. So, this is the army he has got to work with. Oh, and he's got Europe. So we're gonna have to upgrade a lot of workers here to lose a bit of that food. So after this attack, I think he's gonna be a bit slowed down, but he did manage to get quite a decent chunk here, but it's not damaging enough. Looks like little pig pumping out some more towers. And he's going for the Bronze Age barracks. Waste the time going for that, waste the time. He didn't even get his berries, look at that. Wow. Uh, well, go fast temples. That build is strong. That build is strong. But it can be dangerous if you don't do it right. A lot of towers. A lot of towers. Not going to get much more done here. Not the most cost-effective way to defend against warrior uh, against macemen using warriors, but somehow managed to do it they are very slow so the towers definitely help the big round coming through Etsuki still hasn't got his population upgrade nearly halfway done I, still, I, mean, I think he needs to come in a different angle. I mean, if he comes over here, starts taking down the houses, we better instead of going straight where there are five towers, six towers, seven towers shooting. That's not that's not a great idea. You got all of this here to kill, all of this here to kill. You can even come round here and start killing these barracks, but a bit of a panic here from Etsuki. Didn't get do the damage he wants to do and he's played against the demon a beast of a player little pig where are these guys going where are you guys going I'm gonna put a warehouse here yeah, a warehouse here 
Nice. Oh, yes. Very nice spot. Very nice spot. All right, Spearman are out. Looks like we're heading over to Iron Age. A little bit late here for Edski. Edski is a little bit out of time here. Not too sure how Spearman are going to do. Look at that, he's avoiding attacking the maceman. No more, wor no more workers there. He's picking them out one by one. Look at that split. He's, split. he's just keeping them busy. He wants to get his heavy spearmen out. And ideally he wants to get to medieval. Oh, but he's taking... Oh, look how quickly they went down. Look up, but he's got an attack coming in. Split off his spearmen here. Mess things up here, but there's a lot of towers, a lot of towers, and all the workers have decided to hide in the towers. I don't think he needed to do that per se. The towers would deal with all of this pretty quickly. Ooh, taking down the forge. Oh, not gonna get to finish the upgrade, but he doesn't have any food left, so he can't even build any units. But the basement are still strong, they're strong. They're been, the buildings have been upgraded here. We should be at the Iron Age, the heavy spearmen are coming out. So they're gonna be able to fight somehow against all of this. Four damage from the spearmen. 4.6 damage from the maceman, so 0.6 more damage from maceman versus heavy spearmen there. I don't make up the stats. The stats make it up. Right. The, the, the era of Maceman I have finished. How long we got to a medieval? Not too far away. Are we at Bronze Age? No, we're not even. I mean, to Iron Age. We're not even going to Iron Age here. But Edski, Edski is in a little bit of trouble here. He had a little bit of a a pathway to winning this game, but now it's looking terrible. But he is Europe, and he does have some spearmen. Spearmen are pretty good. Oh, they're not doing as much damage as the Asian heavy spearmen. They're doing 5.6 damage. Normal spearmen are doing only 2.9 damage to the heavy spearmen. So definitely, that kind of makes sense. That's the way it should be. Defend against Europe's spearmen by getting heavy spearmen. Down the towers. And what do we got here? We got medieval hit. Ashugar is on the way. Time to die. Give it a full time and attack here. 19 minutes. I should be able to clear this up and do a counter attack straight into Etsky's bases. Etsky ready. He's got some. Oh, he's not building. He's not building. He needs to start building. I think he's waiting. He's waiting. Ah, there's no need to wait. He should have just built it. He should have just built it. Etsky's got, he's got 53 of 100. He needs to pump out units here. He's going straight for the. Heavy Spearman. Where's his? Where's his? Oh, he doesn't have the... The, the Forge. He's got destroyed. Alright. Here comes Doom. Ashigaru's. A couple of Heavy Spearmen. The upgrade's done. Oh, he hasn't got the upgrade. He needs to click the upgrades. Eight damage at the moment. Let's see once the upgrade's done, how much damage they do. Gonna upgrade the rest. He's gonna upgrade the rest. Are you gonna waste that money? No, because he, oh, he does. Yes, he does. He's gonna go for a full on attack. Do we have any spearmen? We do have some spearmen over here from Etsuki. Heavy spearmen against Ashigarus. But there's so many Ashigarus. I'm not too sure what, how, what he's gonna be able to get done with that. He does have towers, but I think he's gonna lose some houses possibly and some workers. I think little pig. Faber's going for workers quite a bit. All right, knocking on the door. 
forcing Eski to come out to fight away from his towers. We see a fight here. We see a fight. Doing 6.6 .6 damage to the Ashigarus from the European heavy spearmen. What do we got here? We got five damage there. He's going for the houses. He's not even bothered going. Not even attacking them. Here we go. He's attacking now. 2.5 damage against heavy spearmen. What? 6.6 .6 versus 2.5. An age ahead. Oh my god. Look at the storm coming. Look at that. I don't think the little pig's too bothered at this point. I mean, look how many. We got 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 barracks. Still no upgrade. Come on, man. Can you upgrade? You just got destroyed by heavy spearmen. Your Ashigaru's and you got destroyed by heavy spearmen. Here they come again. Look at this. 6.6 .6 damage. 2.5 damage. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. And here comes another one. Another wave coming. Oh, got a bit split up there. Ooh, okay, so how much does Heavy Spearman versus Heavy Spearman do? 1.3 damage versus 4 damage. Oh my god. How does that make any sense? I don't know. Both do 7 damage. But it looks like. The European spearmen are attacking more, quicker, like poking. Like needed double. I can't see the stats. It would say it here, but I can't bloody see the stats. So that kind of adds to it as well. But that's, oh my god, that's mental. Look at how many heavy spearmen just went down. And I, has he even lost? Lost one, two, three, four, five. Five! Look how many went down and he had more. I mean, who was it that just done a video about the numbers game? About the number, how, how it's important to have more troops going into a fight than your opponent and how much you're left with. What about here? Can you do the maths on that? No. That is a massacre. Oh, split over here. Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, he's even sending normal spearmen. He's sending everything. He knows what's coming, but he needs to send everything across. Finally, he's getting the upgrades. I'm just getting both upgrades here. Getting some towers. Towers should help. And they can't really destroy towers, so... Oh, but this, this army. This army. That's a lot. 50 troops here. Are we going West Asia here? What is this? Oh, come on. Work on your economy. Your house is going to cost a lot. Where would you put the houses? There. Oh, we've got pikemen. Let's see how the pikemen are doing. 11 damage. Yikes. 6 damage against the pikemen. So they do more damage against pikemen than heavy spearmen. What? What? How does that make sense? How does it make sense? What he shouldn't have done is also not upgraded all of these. You know, I feel like yeah, he should have kept. He should have kept to his heavy spearmen. They, they're better. The heavy spearmen are actually better in this situation. Unless maybe he needs to upgrade these. He needs to get the forge and upgrade them. I, I don't know. That kind of turn things around but at that moment at this moment he needed the heavy spearmen I mean they're still going on still doing something over here and get that one house but this is decent damage it's making him run off complete Deserted base. But 
the army is nearly finished. It's a big army, 50 units. Destroyed by towers. Some pikemen. He's just he's just gonna end up just chasing it. I mean, he doesn't want to turn around and fight, he just wants to chase these workers. I guess Eski's a little bit broke now, he's got no food. Down to 76 supply. Trying to get those pikemen out. He knows there's another big wave, huge. Okay, he's still trying to deal at home here. With the heavy seal, I mean the heavy spearman. Jesus Christ, look how much he had to build to try and deal with this. Finally, we've got some samurais as well. Nine times. What was it before? Eight. Hmm. Every little counts. Every little counts. But we've got samurais here. We should do 16 damage. Those are your heavy hitters. Weak, but heavy hitters for your Asia. Alright. I think this could be the last blow. Cannot mess. This is a beautiful combo from East Asia. I don't know what the equivalent of West Asia is for something like this. I, th I guess you, you're going to have to go with Mamluks and some elephants or something. Nice split off here as well. Take down this. West Asia definitely a little bit more difficult to use. I mean, it's at the moment, little pig, all he had to do was build barracks. He didn't need shooting ranges. He didn't need stables, just barracks. If you go West Asia, you're gonna need you got Sabas, you're gonna need your barracks, you're gonna need stables, you're gonna need elephant dens, you're gonna need a combination of a lot of things, but they do have the ballistas, which are very nice to see jump with. Right, we do we've got these? Heavy spearmen. We've got heavy spearmen back. Must have had some left. All right, can you, can you deal with this? What are the units here? Oh, he's got some bit stuck up there in the middle of the map. He's going straight for the workers again. Can you see the arches on the little castle here? Splitting it off to the workers there. Nicely done. I mean, the the Satmars are going to get pretty much tortured destroyed here, they're very weak. Not the greatest unit against workers unless the workers are standing still. It's a long time to swipe. And again, it's just it's just making them run around. So now Zetsky's got no food production out of wood. I guess there'll be another wave coming shortly after. Here we go, let's click them. I've oh, got the Ashigaris now, is that late medieval? And he's going to industrial. Etsuki lost a lot of workers, he's down to 45 workers as West Europe. Can he get, he hasn't even upgraded his forge to get the upgrades for his pikemen unfortunate but he does have a very strong army let's see how Ashigaru Yaru's are gonna do when they come for you could have built more I could have built more no he's maxed out Jesus ah he's got a lot of workers 12 boats as well it's a 70 no 83 workers in 12 boats that's the biggest army he can produce Ashigaru Yaris and Ashigaru, so he, he didn't he didn't get the samurais because they're gonna take up a lot of a lot of iron and I think Ashigaru Yaris is just a better replacement of oh, 12 damage versus 16 damage but they're tough they're tough here we go are we gonna see a battle head on battle go back no why would you why would you leave your base you had a Beautiful army, you could have defended this yourself. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Didn't get to see the final battle. That was an alright battle. Got to see 
a little bit of Asia, uh, Europe versus Asia and the difference in unit strengths are if you can make Europe work and you know what you're doing it's, you can destroy you can play with your food if your opponent's Asia that's how bad it is and one by one they will fall down heavy spearman first Followed by the pikeman. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Alright. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.